Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another video on the channel today and the community voted and I did it. I accidentally did the LS2. I meant to do the LS1 and I did the LS2. But I figured something out last time that was kind of a mistake. So last video with the K24, we did the 842 horsepower. I didn't factor in crank versus wheel horsepower. Now, another problem I just realized is this is front wheel drive. <laughs> Granted, drivetrain I don't think matters in this game. And actually, there's not really a way to tell if there's a uh, difference between rear wheel, all wheel, and front wheel. Um, that could be a fun update. It would probably change how cars run pretty drastically, though. But there's another problem with doing this. I need to have more cars in my garage because so I calculated it out 1236 HP wheel horsepower. So on a dyno would be roughly 1459, which was an LS2 maximum horsepower for the Corvette that was in 1320 Legends that had the LS2 in it and the Camaro. Pretty cool. I got it as close as I can do, and I wanted to see what it runs in 1320 Legends. I It was very difficult. There's one thing that was very difficult with this, and that was figuring out the correct amount of boost on the uh, supercharger in 1320 Legends. Because in 1320 Legends, it generally didn't tell you how much boost you were running. So I kind of just set it to an arbitrary 35 PSI. As you can see here, or 33, I'm sorry, because I kind of wanted it to be a really high number, but not astronomically high. Because I remember in 1320 Legends, and I looked up videos to confirm it, that it the boost needle was in the red zone on the boost gauge, but all the videos that are available are way too blurry to actually see the numbers for the boost gauge. So, because of that... At the moment, we just don't have a way to see what boost actually was. So we kind of just got to guess and check. And this is my guessing and checking. <laughs> so let's go to the racetrack. Uh, we're going to go here. I have no idea what this is going to run. And I actually don't remember what they ran in 1320 Legends. So little update. I did also uh, information I forgot to give you because ADHD. I did make this way approximately the same amount as a Chevy Corvette with an LS2 as well. But I thought about like, quote unquote, weight savings as well. So it does weigh, I just made it a flat 3,000 pounds. Um, at heaviest, an LS2 based Chevy Corvette was 3,199. So I figured 200 pounds off is probably a good guesstimation for weightless or uh, for making it weigh less. Now, I don't know what these ratios are going to do, <coughs> so we'll just find out. I'm not going to touch clutch. I'm not going to rev. We're just going to do it. I should run a higher dial-in. I didn't think this through. Let's see if these ratios work. They kind of do. Holy crap. No, they work almost perfectly for this. That's kind of interesting okay i can't edit gear ratios i forgot to enable it so when i do these things i'm doing it on a stock civic that only has wheels so i have a complete platform to just mess with the numbers uh, i'm not going to say how i mess with the numbers because it's going to get somebody in trouble that tries to do it outside of me i'm allowed to mess with the numbers i'm racing the ai i'm allowed to find exploits don't try this on your account because we might ban you for it I'm going to mess with something just a little bit, and I'll be right back. So one thing I want to know is what did it run in 1320 Legend? Now, depending on which version of the game this is, there actually was an update to a higher horsepower that I don't know. This is the C6, so this should be the LS2, I believe. So let's see what these run, and I should be kind of close, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see what these guys run, unless this is bracket. No, this looks too fast. Okay, so I'm close. It's running 694s. 
I'm running seven ones. I'm a little off from what it should run. So maybe it does require a higher boost pressure, but I'm not sure. This does also have the, um, whatchamacallit. This does also have the 250 shot Nosfogger uh, that 1320 Legends had in it. So we are running the 250 shot. We are running the, ooh, this is a, I love engine damage runs. Absolutely love them. 7053. So if I had the ability to edit ratios, we could definitely make this 69. So 1320 Challenge and 1320 Legends were not far apart. They really weren't. And it's kind of amazing to find out that information too. Because if I just make this wheel slightly smaller, we will be in the 69s. Kind of like what I did with the K24 video. We will be in the 69s if I just made the wheels smaller. Because on 1320 Legends, a lot of people ran 17-inch wheels, except for on certain cars. Um, the weight of wheels also didn't seem to fully matter. So, like, some people wanted their cars to look realistic, so they ran smaller wheels with bigger sidewall wa uh, wheels. Versus some people ran, like, 20-inch wheels, and then they were, you know, flying down the track. Because it was fun that way. So, either way, this is running about right for what I was expecting as far as front-wheel drive. I mean, there's not a drivetrain in this game, so to speak, so I don't actually know how close we are on that. But another fun little video to see what a C6 Chevy Corvette could have ran in 1320 Challenge if we had the same horsepower and everything. If I bumped this up to be the 1400 at the wheels and made the dyno and everything match... I'm sure it actually would be, it would be a very easy 6.9, 6.8 car, but I kind of wanted to bring the realism of wheel horsepower versus crank into it because every other car in the game is kind of like that already. So, you know, fun little experiment. I'm going to pause the video recording real quick so I can enable the gearbox and see if we can hit 6.9s. You know, one other thing I forgot is actually trying Corvette gear ratios on this thing. I'll try these custom ratios real quick that should be uh, perfect ratios for, you know, actually running right. But as far as I'm aware, I do want to try some LS6 ratios. Cool. Give me one second to get some LS2 ratios, not LS6. What the heck? All right. I got the LS2 ratios in here. Uh, if you remember, like I was saying... Some cars ran big wheels, even though, you know, you wouldn't normally do that in real life. So these ratios were for a 20-inch HRE wheel, which was one of the fastest head-to-head uh, -head wheels if you didn't have trophy wheels or something like that. So runs about right. Uh, we're still a little bit off. If... It was 20 inch wheels. I would actually make the wheels bigger in 1320 Legends or in 1320 Challenge uh, for my modified variables. I could make them a little smaller just to check, like, quote unquote realism, see what happens as far as making it into the six nines. Uh, I'm let's do it. I'll make them a little smaller, just like I did on the K24. All right, gear ratios on, but slightly smaller wheels, which means I might have to make the ratios longer by lowering the final drive. We will do clutch down to make it a little bit longer as well. I think wheel sizes should definitely be a thing in 1320 Challenge. It's a, a very new angle to racing that this game doesn't otherwise have. But we want to break this 6999 bar barrier, and we definitely more than likely will right now because of the wheel size change. Ooh, with an engine damage run on top of it? That's insanity. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, I got to lengthen those ratios a ton. Okay, I kind of expected that. We're going to go 3.769 because 69. All right, let's go. This should 69, no problem. Seeing that I was, you know, 1,000 feet down the track and already at the peak of 6th gear, this will probably low 6.9, which is kind of close to Original Legends. So, you know, we're getting close. We're close. 
even these I can lengthen. I'm actually really surprised by that. 3.666. Because I'm a funny man. We want a 6999. Come on. We can. I know we can. <clears throat> this makes me want to make some really fast ratios for the cars that are already in the game. Ah, uh, it was an ED run too. ED runs, if you don't know, when you see that engine damage thing flash up, for some odd reason, there's an error in the math in the game that we just haven't fixed, that you will actually run faster with an ED run as long as you don't screw up your shifting. Okay, I don't like the smaller tires. <laughs> the smaller tires can eat it. Or the smaller wheels, I might put them back. Um, but yeah, there's a thing in the game where if you get an engine engine damage run, you will probably be faster as long as you nail all your shifts. 7114, that's terrible. I think making the wheels smaller made this car slower, which is actually pretty surprising because that's not normally how this game goes. When we made the wheel smaller on the K24 Civic video, close. Like I said, engine damage run. You saw it last run, very similar shifting, was a 7.1. We are very close to that 6.9. I really want it. I think we'll get it, but I don't know. Let's clutch up. Oh, I like those were pretty good shifts. Those were pretty good. I think if I make the ratios ever so slightly longer, we'll do like 42. I am likely to hit the 6.9. I think I just need to make them a little longer. I really want this 6.9. I know there's people in the game that could definitely make ratios that would have hit 6.9 by now. But this was terrible shifting. This might be a good bracket race ET though. I'm surprised I lost that. Jesus Christ, the Brett AI is goaded. Isn't there an LS1 truck too? Like a Chevy S10 or something, you can get it with the LS1. That would be a very fun addition to 1320 Challenge. Oh my God, I shifted two of those very early. Not good, not good, not good. 711102. I don't think I'm gonna get 6.9 unless I remove weight from the car. Honestly, and then put the size of the wheel back. I think that's the only way I'm going to get six nines. Whew. That was a good over rev, though, but it wasn't engine damage over rev. 7018. I know I can do it. This video was not supposed to be 13 minutes long. I thought I would have hit the actual ET by now. Oh, my God. There we go. I don't care that it's on a foul. Come on. 7082, come on. You can even see the mile per hour is actually higher on ED runs. I've been hitting majority 179s, and that was a 180. Pretty crazy. Okay. I'm going to remove a little bit of weight just for... Hey, we did a carbon fiber hood. Kevlar hood. Kevlar. All right, the ratios are set. 100 pounds was removed from the car. Uh, because we don't know the weight of the cars in 1320 Legends, so we don't know if, you know, maybe it did weigh 2,900 pounds after all the updates and upgrades and stuff to the car. We don't know uh, how much weight things removed. I also put the wheels back to the stock size because I'm sick of this tire spin. Then again, I guess I could have just changed the tire grip, but maybe I'll do that if I'm absolutely at my wit's end here. I'm just sliding up and hitting nitrous too soon is all it really is. That second gear is also really long. That could really play into it. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I'll lengthen it more. 3.989. Fine. <laughs> Not what I was expecting of having to run this uh, so many times. It was way easier with the uh, the K24 build. You stupid little child. I don't know why I called it a little child. That's just, you know, the ADHD singing. 
I'm definitely going to change tire grip. If this run is a spin, we're changing tire grip. Changing tire grip. Okay, ratios are set. Joke's on me. I was running with stock tire grip. So uh, this should be way better now. <laughs> I upped the tire grip a little bit. So we should be able to run like normal now. Wow, that was a terrible second shift. <sighs> I wonder if I can rev now. I should be able to rev launch now, I think. I didn't change anything else. I did change the final drive. That was the only other thing I changed. And I, Final drive and tire grip is all I changed. I think I did 979. Oh my god, that was a terrible launch. I need to see if I can rev this at all. So in original 1320 Legends, people revved this at about 2,000 RPM. So let's find out if I can rev launch it at all. Because they were trying to build a little bit of boost off the line. Which actually did something in 1320 Legends. Wow, that actually helped a little. Hey, look, our favorite red-green foul. That's wonderful. There it is. All I had to do was change tire grip. And that's almost spot on for what the Corvette should run in 1320 Legends. Let's see if I can rev it higher. Let's try 23. Oh my freaking god, I can't shift at all. Can't shift. I suck at shifting. This would be a very fun car in 1320 Legends. Or 1320 Challenge. Well, Legends too. This would be a lot of fun in Challenge. I definitely want to add a Corvette. It feels very much missing. I also want to add something like obscure. I want to add like a Chevy Blazer or the GMC Typhoon or something like that. I want, like I even said in the last video, if I can do a Honda CRV, that would be wicked. But anyway, you saw the 6.9. We're good. I'll talk to you guys later. This was not supposed to be 17 minutes long. But I want you to see the whole process. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.